Pro Tools OxIO lets you expand your routing capabilities by adding core audio devices as extensions to your main playback engine. Whether integrating with the Dolby Atmos renderer, streamline sharing of audio between DAWs, or simply sharing audio with conferencing tools like Zoom, OxIO allows easy, flexible, and simultaneous routing of audio in and out of Pro Tools. OxIO is available on supported Mac OSs. Note that HDX users will need to be running in hybrid mode to use OxIO. The number of channels available for OxIO varies between Pro Tools Artist, Studio, and Ultimate. At the heart of OxIO is the Pro Tools Audio Bridge, a new virtual core audio device that is installed automatically alongside Pro Tools and will be visible and available to use in Pro Tools I.O. setup, audio MIDI setup, sound and preferences, as well as inputs and outputs in other applications. There are multiple types of Pro Tools audio bridges available. Two channels A and B, six channels, 16, 32, and 64, that provide flexibility and separation when routing audio to various applications and hardware simultaneously on the same computer. The playback engine should be set to your main interface or playback engine that you normally use. To add a new input or output to a core audio device, go to Setup, I.O. Under either the Input or Output tab, you will find the Aux I.O. button, which opens the Aux I.O. configuration window. At this point, an important dialog is displayed. OxIO allows you to use core audio devices as additional Pro Tools interfaces. It should not be used in place of your main playback engine. Input and output latency may not be consistent and cannot be delay compensated. When possible, use the Pro Tools audio bridge to avoid audio artifacts over periods of time. To add a device, simply check the in or out box. For physical devices, you can add both in and out, while virtual devices can be assigned either in or out to avoid feedback loops within the software. Physical devices include connected interfaces like HDX, Carbon, or others, as well as built-in audio devices on your computer, such as speakers or mic. Virtual paths are software audio paths that are used between applications such as Pro Tools Audio Bridge, Dolby Audio Bridge, Zoom, and others. Other than connecting the Dolby Atmos renderer using the Dolby Audio Bridge, we recommend using the Pro Tools Audio Bridge to connect all other software applications, as it offers superior syncing and performance. You can also rename devices to make patching easier in Pro Tools. After pushing OK, the devices will now be available for routing within the Pro Tools I.O. page, as well as the inputs, outputs, and sends within the Pro Tools mixer.